Hello. In this session, I want to move on slightly and I want to look at deaf people specifically. So I want to just consider how you may have looked at certain deaf people and seen that they've come across as being angry, frustrated, that they've not engaged with you well, you know, that not, they've not wanted to build a bridge with you as hearing people. And you may have found them quite hard to, to engage with, that they proved to be quite difficult, that appear to be grumpy. And, and so this is, this is quite a, a sensitive issue. Now, I want to look specifically at why that might be the case, you know, why a deaf person might come across as you know, being irritated or grumpy. And so th these are just things for you to remember. When, when a deaf person goes through education, most of the people that have taught them are hearing people. Most of them are. It's very, very rare to have deaf teachers. They, they are about, um, but we're talking about mainstream schools here, or we're talking about in previous deaf schools, uh, where most of the teachers would have been hearing. So the teaching methods would have been an oral approach where they, they wouldn't have used sign language in the classroom, which I've talked about in a previous session in relation to the decision that was made in Milan in 1880, where they, they banned sign language, meaning that students needed to learn through lip reading. And as those children grew up, the education that they received was through hearing people. Uh, and many of them were discriminated against. You know, many of them had been abused and there are, there are different forms of abuse that deaf students may have encountered, um, but they've had to work through that in life. And as they've grown up, that's really stuck with them. And, and maybe therefore are rebelling against hearing people. There's no desire therefore to connect with those who are hearing. They'd rather stick with, with people who are, are deaf like them, or communicate with people who can communicate like them. And so when a deaf person goes to, to work, Again, they're in a, a hearing environment in the main. And, and so again, they, they face that barrier where people around them can't sign or they might be learning to sign, but it, it's difficult for them because they're having to, to lip read again and use speech. And, and so I'm hoping that's helpful for you just to think about why certain deaf people might have an apparent attitude like that, how they might behave in a particular way. So you might be able to sympathize with the fact that they've come from a certain background. Now, just to give you an example, growing up, for me, um, the education that I received was an oral education. I, I struggled. I really struggled just to try and lip read my way through school. And when I left school and I went to college, it was a hearing college. Everyone around me spoke and I didn't understand what was being said. And I had to just struggle my way through that. I had um, a support teacher uh, for deaf people and she helped me with my English and to understand some of the content. But it meant that I was getting further and further behind because hearing people could keep up with the pace of that learning environment. Now, it meant that I, it was something that I just had to tolerate and throughout my time in education because the people that were teaching me were hearing. Now, I work with hearing people. Of course I do. And, and, but I really want hearing people to understand why people might feel like that growing up. The difficulties that they faced, uh, whether that's been in education because they have had to use an oral approach to education um, or where sign language was provided. That would be a very different story if sign language was provided for, for deaf students. And so it just I just want to give you some insight. It's not, it's not everybody that's going to behave like that, but why you might come across certain deaf people with those sort of behaviours. But I want you to also appreciate that there's some, so much higher percentage of those deaf, of deaf people who have mental health issues in comparison to that of their hearing peers. You know, sign language is a beautiful language. And, and so I, I hope that just helps you have a, a greater insight into what, why deaf people might be a certain way, um, but also why their culture is so rich and their language. Okay, so if you want any further information, feel free to be in contact. And thank you for watching. Farewell.